Hi everyone, it's Nicole McWork, and today I have a couple of fun little coffee treat bags featuring the Simon Says Stamp October 2014 card kit. This is a part of the blog hop that we're having. The There's several designers participating in a blog hop today. To create my goodie bags, I'm using the treat bag or goodie bag die from Lawn Fawn. And the easiest way I found to use this is to take my sheet of paper, in this instance an 8.5 by 11 sheet of cardstock included in the kit. I cut around the shape of the die and then run it through my machine once. You will need two of those cuts to create the goodie bag and then you can run the second piece through your machine by flipping your die. The other way to maximize the use out of your paper, you should end up with about a two inch section at the end of a 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper left over for, to use for other things. Now I did need another coffee cup. One of my striped cups was left over from my project that I shared yesterday. It was a stack of coffee cups on a card. And then I had some centers, these little hearts, left over as well. So I just needed enough to, to die cut another one. Now before you put the goodie bag together, if you have any stamping to do on the front of of the bag or the back of the bag or anything you want to adhere, whether it be die cuts or anything like that, I find it's best to do it while it's still lying flat. So don't put it together yet and go ahead and do any of the stamping that you have to do, um, embossing, anything that you want to adhere to it. It just makes it so much easier and then once everything is assembled you can go ahead and put your gift or goodie bag together. Now I stamped the steam coming out of the coffee mug using some unicorn white ink and then I'm kind of laying out my coffee cup and checking the design to make sure I like everything. I'm using the powder tool along the bottom part of my treat bag and I'm doing this because I'm going to stamp that friendship has its perks which is the same greeting that I used on my card yesterday, I really liked this one, but I felt like it worked best for these goodie bags. You could use any of the sentiments or greetings that you like. But to make this one a little bit more different and fun, because I'm using striped coffee cups on these gift bags, I thought it would be neat to emboss each word with its own color of embossing powder. So I have several colors of American Crafts embossing powder here and I'm just carefully sprinkling them on each word and then tapping off that excess back into the dishes. Um, this isn't very hard. It is a little bit more time consuming. If a little of the powder gets on some of the other letters, that's okay. You can use a paintbrush if you want to to remove that or if there's a little bit you know a few little flecks here and there it does, didn't really bother me um, but you can kind of remove that with with maybe a fine uh, tip paintbrush and then reapply the embossing powder now I wanted my coffee cups on my gift bags to have a little bit more of a substantial look so I did go ahead and use that leftover paper or cardstock from creating the goodie bags and I die cut two more of the mugs from that and layered those together with the pattern paper mug on top. This gives it more of a chipboard type feel and I really liked that. Now I did replace that little inside portion of my mug with the brown die cuts just so you couldn't see anything through them. I'm replacing the cardstock hearts and then my pattern paper heart on top of that. So the gift bag is pretty much done at this point. I like to use a bone folder and go over all of those score lines that scored when I die cut the goodie bag to get really crisp, nice, scored uh, edges. It makes putting together the bag so much more easy. So I did this for both pieces of the goodie bag. Once I have it nice and scored, I'm going to take a strong adhesive like the glue glider run that along those tabs and then fold in my bag on each side giving it a um, nice making sure it's nice and secure before I put the two halves together if that makes sense so that's what I did here 
going to add a little adhesive to the bottom of the one piece of the bag and then I'll line those up and finish putting my little goodie bag together. Now I always like to kind of fold it and pinch it and move it around make sure it's exactly the way I want it. You can also add a little additional adhesive if you need to to make sure it's nice and secure. I thought it would be fun to finish off the bag with a cute little gift tag that says thank you. So I die cut this tag from the Tiny Tags stamp set and I used the craft or khaki ink rather that came in the card kit and also some doll pink ink from Simon Says Stamp that I had in my stash and I tied a little twine through my tag. I originally thought I could attach this with a tiny attacher but that wasn't working so instead I'm going to just poke a little hole with my needle and thread some string through there and then I will thread my tag onto that string and I have also looped some additional pink twine. Poke a, go back through that same hole and I will tie that string in a knot on the inside of the gift bag. That will secure both my little tag and that bow to the center. And finally, I will take some wood hearts. These are from Simon Says Stamp. Use a little matte medium and glue that to the center of my bow to hide that knot. I hope you've enjoyed this video showcasing the October 2014 Simon Says Stamp card kit. The supplies I've used are listed and linked below the video on YouTube. Thanks for watching.